Welcome, everybody. My name is Stephen Chilton, and I'm your co-host for this evening. Welcome to the Jesus Chat Line. Oh, do you want to? Oh, let's try that again. Let's just here. Just a minute here. We, hang on. Jesus chat line. That, that was good. Okay. Okay. So, thank you for joining us. We're glad to have you all here. We have a wonderful show for you this evening. Richard is here. And um, we have a, 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 a special surprise for you this evening. For the first time in the history of the Jesus chat line, we have a live in studio guest with us. And I'm going to leave it to Richard to reveal who that guest is in the next segment. But I guarantee you'll want to stick around. It's going to be very interesting. Oh, so a big welcome to everybody. We see a lot of uh, familiar faces here. We see um, Sweets and Roadhammer and Wild Haired Witch and Turtle is here. Mojo is here. Um, and, and a whole host of other people. Uh, Mark Vaughan has also joined us. Um, and yes. Um, and um, so we're going to start off by taking a couple of your calls. And our phone number, as you can see at the bottom of the screen, is 510 306 1097. Good evening, and welcome to the Jesus chat line. Hi, go ahead, caller. Hi, uh, just wanted to discuss the Neon Bible. Okay, well, you've come to the right place for that. For those who are joining us for the first time, Richard Burnish has written the Neon Bible. <clears throat> All right, awesome. Uh, well, I went to Catholic school. Mm -hmm. as a boy, right? And there was a nun. Uh huh. Well, um, it will help you to get through it. First of all, I'm very sorry that you had to go through that kind of experience, caller. Um, the good thing about the Neon Bible is it's only um, 76 pages as opposed, opposed to the King James Bible, with, which I think is like about 500 pages. Um, so it's, a, it's an accelerated program. Um, the other thing I want to point out is that the schools we run and the Bible camps that we run, there is no such abuse. All our um, counselors and staff are screened. So we, we, we do not condone any of that behavior. Yeah, right. It's terrible. But the thing is, uh, the nun caught me masturbating during church. And she, she told me I was going to hell. But see, I mean, I, I was just hoping maybe the Neon Bible can get me into heaven. It can, sir. Um, it can. Um, how old were you when this happened? Uh, I was 12. Oh, 12? Okay. Well, sir, 1995. If you pay the price of 1995, uh, you are going to put yourself well on the way to redemption. I promise you that. I can still go to heaven because, I mean, I blew my load, like, all over the priest during the hospital. Sir, if we... Sorry, uh, this... Okay, I apologize for that. Um, I'm going to warn everybody right now that um, we are on the internet and you're going to expect a large degree of rough talk. Um, we expect that, but we will hang up on those types of calls immediately. We're here on the internet, ground zero. Hi, wild haired witch. How are you this evening? We are on the internet at ground zero on Vaughan Live to stop the filth. Now, there's a trade-off that there's going to be some rough talk, but we will fight through it. We're going to now take another call. Go ahead.
We have. Go ahead. Cabbage patch. Cabbage patch? Yeah, from Pure Canada, remember? Ah, uh, yes, Cabbage Town. Yeah. I was reading the Neon Bible about the internet piracy part. Mm hmm. And uh, is it true that uh, what I believe is that inter- internet piracy causes the homosexuality? Did you. Is this some kind of a joke? I thought I heard a laugh. Is he laughing? I'd, I'll give him a... He's laughing, Stephen. I'll give him a minute to compose himself. This might not be a joke. I just want to point out, while we're talking about um, um, torrents and internet piracy, ironically enough, the Neon Bible we found the other day leaked uh, as a torrent. Um, we were very discouraged by this. Uh, we, uh, we, um, we did put a stop to it, though. Um, the police were alerted, and um, the, the hearings will be next week. And we're very... Con- oh, the, the pastor just texted you. Oh, okay. All right. Um, are you still on the line, caller? Yeah, I'm, I'm very sorry. It's very uh, sad for me. It's quite personal. Okay. Uh, yeah, I believe my, my, my son's been doing his tournament and stuff to internet piracy. Mm-hmm. I think it might be homosex. Okay. Do you have any programs that can maybe help stop this internet piracy? Um, to stop piracy. Yeah. That's something that we're still working on. Um, the the only thing I can um, um, suggest is that whoever is hosting <coughs> whoever is hosting your domain, I would alert them. And they could try to stop the piracy. You ever take that work? Yeah. Um, like, like, I know that GoDaddy will try and stop it. <clears throat> well, I know up here in Canada, they don't got that stuff up here. Oh, oh okay, that's unfortunate. It's all that AOL stuff. Do you do it? AOL has been known to be very active in stopping piracy. Yes. Do you have any experience with that AOL stuff? Um, yeah, Richard and I use nothing but AOL exclusively because it offers us very high bandwidth at a very good price. Well, do you have any like twelve step programs down there? Uh, we have a Homo Detox program, and it's accelerated. Um, and and what happens is um, all Homo Sapiens are allowed to join it, and they will be treated on an accelerated basis. And um, we can't we can't hear the callers. Is that can you? Is that true? Um, we ask for your patience, caller. Can, um, is our um, is there an issue, Richard, with the, uh, anything that we can do to say a couple words for us, caller? Jesus chat my rules and look at me in Bible. Great. I can I can hear that on the, on this end quite quite well. It might be it's just me on this uh, payphone here. Just just hang with us one minute while uh, while Richard is fixing uh, the technical. Um, uh, oh, okay. Say, uh, go ahead, caller. All right. Well, uh, I just want to know how much you, y'all charge for that there uh, homo detox. Oh, it's um, $399, and it's a three-day program. Okay, good. We're all good now. All right. Does that also include the uh, accelerated Bible camp you all have? Uh, that is extra. The accelerated Bible camp is extra. Do you all have, like, a package I can use to, you know, get it all in there? A which? Like a package. Oh, yeah. He's talking about your package. We're at, we're, what we're offering is it's 399 for the... For the whole, yeah, it's, it's, just a second. Yeah, I will. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. Um, yes, what we're offering, it's called Richard's Package. Okay, Richard's Package. Um, normally what it is, is it's 399 for the um, Homo Sapien Detox, and it's in 399 for the accelerated Bible camp, and we are offering it for the price of seven ninety eight, um, all inclusive. Um, yes. 
All right, that's a, that's a great deal. But uh, another question, uh, my son, he seems to try to uh, do these homosex things with me, and I don't really like it. Uh, how can I like like a deterrent for him? Well, I think you need to just notify him um, about the um, the dangers of it, and that um, it's not the proper thing. Okay, I hope that was good advice. And thank you, caller. Thank you for joining us from Cabbage Town. So, okay, we're off to a good start. We've had a couple serious calls. Um, basically, um, what I invite you all to do is grab a dad's cream from the fridge and a slice of cherry pie and sit back because it's going to be a wonderful evening. We have our special guest coming up. Okay? And... Um, before we get to that, though, we're going to take a couple more of your calls, okay? Go ahead, caller. Hello, am I on the air? You are on the air. Go ahead. Fucking goddamn shit, cunt, bitch, fuck. Okay, that was some of the rough talk that I warned you about. Go ahead, caller. You're on the Jesus chat line with um, Rich Stephen Chilton. Is there somebody on the other end of the line? Hello? Hi, caller. Go ahead. Hello? Yes, who, who am are I we speaking sp with? Uh, my name is Stephen Chilton, and you are, sir? This is Leroy F. Sinclair. I've not gotten my two boxes of beer and a bottle of whiskey yet. What's the holdup? Leroy? I sent, um, you my, I sent you my mailing address. What's going on? Am I um, going to have to come down there and get it? Just um, stick to your last name only, Leroy. We are on the internet, and uh, we, don't, we don't want you what to have any... What more? You used it already on the show. Why have I got to stick to it only on first name? Um, listen, who, who is this really? Because... This is Leroy Sinclair. From Norway House? Is this the Leroy Sinclair from Norway House? Yes, this is the Leroy Sinclair from Norway House. We sent you a, a package that contained beads, and these beads were I meant... I don't want beads. I get beads, I'm going to turn them into inno beads, and I'm going to ram them up your butt. Sir, I will hover my... this The finger that operates the mouse, I will hover it over um, ban. Um, in fact, I'm going to ask right now Roadhammer... Please be ready. Oh, no, you can't ban someone who's calling in. Okay, go ahead, caller. Why would you ban me? Because I said butts. Uh, what was that? Why are you going to ban me? I'm not even in the chat room. I think we can work this out. Sir, are you, are you a religious man? No, I'm not a religious man. Are you aware that this is a religious channel? Uh, yes, I'm aware this is a religious channel. And I'm also aware that somebody on that channel has been pretending to be me. And I'm not happy about it. I called in last time you guys were on the air. And I thought we may be a peaceful resolution. But I, that fell down deaf ears. I need to speak to Richard. Put Richard on the on the mic. Richard is not in the room right now. Richard? Sir, I'm, I'm sure... I'm I'm a, I'm sure we can work, work this out. Man. I'm willing to compromise. Like, come on, I don't think two boxes of beer and a bottle of whiskey is too much to ask for. Would you like to talk to this man? Okay. I don't, just, just give me one second now. I'm really questioning Leroy, if I'm actually talking to the real Leroy, because we have had Leroy on this channel before, and this doesn't sound quite like Leroy, and you're speaking to me in a very abusive manner. 
and I don't appreciate it. This is a religious channel. Do I make myself clear? Okay, we have somebody else here on the line as well. Go ahead. This is the rehearsing. Let me tell you this right now. I got someone up to an impersonating me on the show, and I'm good I'm sick of it. Here. Okay, so now we have somebody else claiming to be Leroy here. Listen, I'm not going to turn my line. I won't, won't I swear, but I'm going to tell you this right now. The people coming in on the show, and they're telling you that it's Leroy Sinclair, Leroy Sinclair from Norway House. Leroy Lee Sinclair from Norway House. And me and my brother, you care, but let me tell you, the, me and my brother used to say that a couple of guys each other. You're you're breaking up, Leroy. Perhaps you can try to get some better reception. Oh, we lost the call. Okay, give us give us a call back, Leroy. We lost we lost that. This is we're off to a bit of a confusing start here. We're just going to move on though. Um. Oh, wrong button. Okay, go ahead, caller. Hello? Hi, you are on the air with the Jesus chat line. I am? Yes. Hello? You are on the air. Hello? Go ahead. I am? Yes. Hello? How's it going today? It's going very well. Um, I was just wondering how I could get my son on the road to redemption. It's going very well. You want to get your son on the road to redemption? Mm-hmm. What, uh, give, give us a little bit of background. Well, he, I don't know, he's just been acting up lately. I mean, he's, he's acting out of line. He's not doing well in school. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, there's a lot of young people that, that have phases of, of rebellion. Um, that's not um, entirely abnormal. How old is your son? He's um, 12. He's 12, okay. Okay, go on. Yeah, and I, I just don't know how to deal with him. He's getting out of hand. Well, how much would it cost for me to send him to that school you've been talking about? It's $399. We do have an option, another option, though, that you could try first. Um, what could I try first? Well, what it is, is it's a, um, a shirt that we sell that has no sleeves. And what you do is you put this shirt on, and the then shirt, you just... A shirt, you, as in like a t-shirt? It, it, it's like, um, um, uh, like a, um, a muscle shirt kind of get thing. I'm kind of starting to doubt that that would work. If it's just a shirt, I want the full package. Well, what it is, is um, if you... If you join the Accelerated Bible Camp for three hundred ninety-nine dollars, we will. Yeah, that's what I'm looking into. We will include the shirt, and what you do you get the is the shirt and the school. Yes, and what you do is put on the shirt, and what it, it will not restrict your shoulder movement, and then just start so say, doing some shoulder stretches like this. But you have to go to school every day in the same shirt. Just, just um, park your car across the street. And wait for um, their recess, or is that what they call it? What are you Re talking about right now? I'm hearing laughter. No, I'm not. It's a joke. It's a joke. Okay, we're gonna uh, we're gonna take one more, and then Richard, are you ready to to take over? Okay, gonna take one more call, um, and then we're gonna move on. Welcome to the show, caller. You are live on the Jesus chat line. Oh, hello, Stephen. Um, I'm a longtime viewer of the show. I love it. I can't get enough. Um, mm -hmm. Great. But recently, I've fallen off the path. Okay. And um, it sounds like you have the answer to that. Um, so I came to express interest in Richard's package. Yes. Is that what you call it? Yes. Um, so what will Richard pack, Richard's package get me? Because... Um, 
You know, I've done some pretty horrible shit. Um, forgive me. Um, uh, stuff. I've, I've done some horrible stuff in okay. the past few weeks. Yep. And um, I want to know if uh, Richard's package is all I need. Richard's uh, package is all you need. It, it is, it, Richard's package is in demand. Um, it's, a, it's a large package that you will receive. And um, it will be the answer to everything. Now, I don't want to give away all the secrets um, to the package. Uh, we are going to make right. a video, though, on Richard's package very shortly. All right, because it does sound like a large package, and that's what I need right now is um, a large package to get, turn me back on to Jesus. Um, so how much does this package cost again? I'm sorry. The package, it's a good yes, package what will it deal. Take to, what will it take for me to get this package in my hands? Because I want to get my hands on this package. The man wants the package, Stephen. How much does it cost? $798. All right. Um, so I'm expecting a lot of package because that is a lot of money and, you know, tough times right now. I'm sorry. Um, Richard just told me a joke. By no means, sir, am I trying to um, make light of your situation here. Richard just, Richard likes to have fun. We're in a good mood tonight. Um, so yes, let's get I back understand. to the, Let's I've, get back to like Richard. Like I said, I've watched the show for a while. Yeah. You've seen us on C-Band then? Yes. I've been following you since C-Band through the few shows on Justin TV. Which? Uh, Back to Vaughan TV. Um, oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, Vaughan, yes. I'm not familiar with that last one you mentioned. Okay. Um, me. So where were we? We were talking about Richard's package. Uh, yes, I want to get my hands on Richard, Richard's package. Okay, you can. You will receive Richard's package along with um, a vintage bottle of Dad's cream. Oh, I am running low on Dad's cream right now, so that is a real... That's really good. Okay. And it's funny, that I'm going to... Kind of yeah, um, I'm, I think we're going to leave it there for now, caller, because um, Richard is about to take over, but I'd like to thank you for your call. That was wonderful. Please call us back. Richard's package is... What did you say, Richard, about the package? First, it seems like it's a lot to take at once. Yeah, Richard's package can be overwhelming at first. Yes, I understand completely. Thank you for your time. Oh, I thank love you, your sir. show. And thank you, sir. I will, I will be contacting you about Richard's package. Thank God, you. God bless. All right, that was wonderful. I'm, I'm so glad that that caller called in and we were able to discuss Richard's package. Okay, um, so speaking of Dad's Cream, um, we have a guest here tonight, and um, I'm going to pass things over now to uh, Richard H. Burnish. Right after this break. Or do you want to just rock the mic right now? Okay, we're going to do a commercial break. You're going to set it up? Okay. Thank you, everybody, uh, and, and um, enjoy yourselves this evening. Hope, love, inspiration. Let Richard Burnus show you the way. Host of Jesus Chatline and author of the Neon Bible, Richard's goal is to rid the internet of filth. Life wasn't always easy for Richard, but through the power of our Lord, he was able to overcome the temptations of evil. Let Richard show you God's road to redemption and change your life forever. Richard Burnish, he influenced my life in a lot of ways, you know, made me who I am today. The path to redemption, yes. Richard Burnish has changed my life for the positive. I like his style. It's it's influential. For stories, inspiration, song, and your phone calls, join us on our crusade. Richard Burnish. Who are Richard Burnish and Stephen Chilton? Take care of their own. They help each other out in times of trouble. They don't drink, don't smoke. <laughs> I believe that they help out everybody. They seem very caring, like they care about all people and all walks of life. They have some strict rules as far as what they can drink, like carbonated drinks.
Hello, everybody. Oh, hello, everybody, and uh, welcome uh, to the Jesus Chat Line. I am your host, uh, Richard. Bur oh, it's a little bit. Uh, I am your host, Richard Burnish, and uh, this is the Jesus Chat Line. Um, now, what this is is a uh, is it's a it's an online channel that we've um, we're kind of experimenting with. Hello, everybody, and thank you for coming. Um, what it is is it's a channel that we kind of started on a C-band satellite system, uh, which we've then moved to online. So it's a call-in show, um, and what we will we do here is we we take your calls. Uh, the number on the the bottom of the screen right here, Stephen, is the graphic up? The graphic. Are the gra okay, if there should be a number at the bottom of the screen, I. The cross is aliased. Okay. Um, so there should be a number up, and what you do is you call in here um, for advice uh, if you're going through a bit of a hard time or you need some advice, and uh, we, we we help you. Um, you are among friends. Uh, there's there's no judgment here. Uh, hello to uh, Wild. Uh, sorry to Harry Witch. Hello to you. Um, so what we do is there's no judgment here. We're just here for advice. Okay. Um, Everyone here in the chat room, you're with your fellow, uh, you're with your fellow Christians here, uh, and we're all here for the same, same purpose, and that's just to help out. We're a support system for one another. So um, I would just like to uh, give an amen if everybody could just type in, <laughs> amen, and, and you know, just a little, because <laughs> we like to have fun here. We like we like to we like to laugh. <laughs> so amen in the room. There it is. See, just like that. Not no, no, not gay men. Stephen, somebody said gay men. No, it's amen, amen. amen. Okay, yeah. You see, we like to <laughs> we like to have fun on the show, and we like to do some jokes, <laughs> all like that, like with amen, and we you know. But um, yeah, so welcome to everybody. Um, I am Richard. Um, Stephen, did you tell about the website? Okay, well, we, we have a website. If somebody uh, could please type in JesusChatLine.com, and, and what that is, is that that is our uh, official um, web home. Is it home web? Web home? I'm not, religion is my thing. I'm not quite familiar with the internet. Remember that we're on uh, Headspace. Okay, so uh, uh, AOL keyword JesusChatLine or JesusChatLine.com. And uh, it's a little bit about us, you know. Uh, it talks about our Neon Bible, the Bible that I have um, indeed um, uh, worked on and, and, and perfected. And, and uh, it's there for purchase. And that's why we're here, is to sell our Bible. Uh, well, not... Well, we're here to sell our Bible, and we're here to promote some of the work that we do. So um, that's what this show is about. What I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to go on, and I'm going to take one call here. And then I think they've been waiting long enough, wouldn't you? Is everybody ready for our, our big surprise? How long is the pie maybe, Richard? Oh, the pie, is, it, should, I, I, it should be ready. So oh, okay. We should be ready soon. Okay. No, it should be good. Okay. So you ready for the... Okay, we're going to do... We're going to do... We're going to do... Um, we're going to take one call, and then we're going to let out the big surprise, I think. Oh, I let out the big surprise right now. <laughs> so um, we have a guest uh, tonight on the Jesus chat line. Um, we have a guest um, to, to, to rock the mic. He's traveled all the way from uh, Alabama uh, to, to speak with you guys tonight. Um, uh, I call him... Uh, He's the dads of my dad cream. <laughs> no, it's my father. It's my father, Richard Burnish Sr. Um, he's here. Uh, he took some time off. Uh, he is also a, yeah, it's, yeah, that's right. It's going to be um, my father, Richard Sr., all the way from Alabama. You're in for a treat. He took some time off. He is also a pastor. Uh, down in Alabama in, 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 in a place called uh, Seddon's Creek. Set, Seddon's Creek. Uh, he has his own uh, establishment there. And uh, he is, uh, he's here. He's here to take a few calls. So 
I think, um, are you guys ready to meet Richard Burnish uh, one or Richard Burnish um, Senior? Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Hey, Pappy, they're, they're, yeah. Okay, so what we'll do, it's Seton's, no, not Satan's Creek. It's not Seton, Seton's Creek. Okay, so we'll, um, maybe he could, um, he'll take some of your calls. Would you guys be up for that? Maybe, hey, Pappy, would you like to take a few calls? Well, no, I'll operate. I'll operate. The, I'll operate the thing. You just take the mic. Oh, we get the pie. Get the pie. I'm taking the pie out of okay, the Okay, bring bring it over. It's a, it was at 350. Okay. 350 degrees. Okay, we're gonna take a quick pie break, and uh, we'll be right back um, and with uh, Richard Burnish Senior. Um, and we'll be right. Uh, is it? A, yes, it is a cream pie. Yes, it is. We'll be right back um, uh, after these uh, short messages. Um, and please hang in there for uh, Richard uh, Burnish Sr. My father will be answering your calls. Okay. Uh, we'll be right back. Stephen, get... Stephen, get the pot. Hope, love, inspiration. Let Richard Burnish show you the way. Host of Jesus Chatline and author of the Neon Bible, Richard's goal is to rid the Internet of filth. Life wasn't always easy for Richard, but through the power of our Lord, he was able to overcome the temptations of evil. Let Richard show you God's road to redemption and change your life forever. Richard Burnish, he influenced my life in a lot of ways, you know, made me who I am today. The path to redemption, yes. Richard Burnish has changed my life for the positive. I like his style, it's, it's influential. For stories inspiration, song, and your phone calls. Join us on our crusade. Richard Burnish. God came to Richard and Stephen with a dream of a new house of worship a house devoted to the one true word, the Neon Bible. Thus began their leap of faith. Through the generous donations of our disciples, Richard and Stephen have purchased holy ground where the Church of the Neon Bible will stand. Brick by brick, they will venture into erecting the greatest man-made structure that man has ever seen. After visiting the grandest churches in the world for inspiration, Richard has taken God's dream to a new level. And we're back. Oh, and we're back. <laughs> uh, okay, so as I said before the break, uh, we have my father here, um, Pappy, um, uh, Richard Burnish Sr., and he will be taking your calls. So without further ado, I'm going to introduce my father, Richard, uh, or uh, Richard um, Sr., um, to take some of your calls. So uh, here uh, we'll just pass it off. Ah, good evening, everyone. I'm Richard Burnish, Sr. And I'm hoping I could answer some of your calls this evening. Hi, you're on the air. Hello. Hey. Yeah, what's up? Mm. Hi, you're on the air. I thought you'd be asking me what's up. Yeah, what's up? What are you doing, man? 
Let me just try another call. Somebody's got uh, stutters. I've asked the mods to make sure this man is respected. Hmm. Hello? Hey, hi. How are you doing? Boo? Hello? Hello? Hi. Hi, hi. How are you? Not bad, you. Am I on the air? You are. We're all listening to you. Fuck! Goddamn cunt shit piss! Stop the call. <laughs> all right. Somebody has a lot to say. Shall we try another one? All right. Hello, hello. Hey, how you doing? My name is Ranzel, and I am a homosexual. Uh, okay. That's, uh, that's okay. Oh, thank you. So how you doing? Not bad, you. I'm doing pretty good now that you answered. You look pretty good over there. So how uh, long you been his father? How long? Yes, please. Uh, probably about... What's hard to say? Do you, do you, like, do you believe in DNA? Oh, you're shy. No, no, no. If I, see, if you believe in a lot of that DNA science, I guess uh, I was his father all my life. I'll tell you what, baby. I believe in kismet and in true love. Say what? I believe in kismet, true love, so answer it based on that. Oh, okay. Um, all my life I was this father. It's not a fucking soundboard, okay? Who is that? Phil a frog? Suck my cock. Please. Oh, come on. Please oh, wait, wait, wait a second. Wait, hold wait, it, hold wait. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. I thought, it, uh, I thought you, were, you had something, you know, something to actually talk about. I did. I did. Okay, so we can leave the dirty bit back. And okay, I'm going to leave all the dirty bits back. Okay. I, I'm, I'm thinking about choosing um, a religion. Oh, okay, and, sure. And, and there's a lot of qualities to each religion, and I want to base my decision on a quality of each religion. You know what I'm saying, baby? Okay, yeah, all right. Okay, so my question is, if, if you had, I mean, in your wisdom and experience, which religion would have, like, the largest penis? Well, if you read the Neon Bible a little bit more, um, I think everybody, uh, some of the, the greatest men were all gifted one way or the other. I believe that too, and that's yeah, why I'm going you know, to you so right now. Because a lot, I think a lot of it is, is a long-term search, you know what I mean? That's, and I've you know, been searching. If you, just, if you just I don't head have the off answer. to one corner, you're not going to find the same thing if you head off to ten corners. What? Some stores are a lot bigger, you know, if you reach in. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> Well, I'm just trying to explain religion. But you're not giving me an answer, though. It's like you're beating on my bush. Oh, well, then, like I said, I would start off with the Neon Bible and actually get to know that very well. Okay, let's say, and I, I, I mean, you can ask your, your son. I, I mean, I've already bought the Neon Bible, and okay. I haven't really found my answer yet. So if you had a, in your best guesstimization, which religion would contain the largest penises. I mean, I'm, I'm not talking about length or width, maybe, maybe overall weight. Okay, well, um, I still go back to, as far as religion goes, I just stick to the Christianity side of things. And, um, okay, follow, I'm digging follow, that, follow, why? Follow, follow, follow the, just a neon Bible. Jesus what the fuck is wrong with you? Did Jesus have a big one? <laughs> yeah, I'm sure he had a big cross. Because <laughs> you can tell, you know, he worked out and stuff. I saw a lot of stuff, and he's, like, cut up and, like, a lot of ripped and stuff. And he stayed on that cross. Like, he had a lot of endurance and stuff. So I can only imagine that Jesus Christ had a big one. Um, yeah, you know, you might be right. You obviously, you know, you're obviously, uh, you like to go into deep into thought, so. I love going deep, baby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't laugh at me. This is serious. Well, I am being serious. But you're, you know, obviously, you're, you're a very nice guy, and you Thank come across you. very, oh, you know, shit, pleasant. Huh? What's your first name? My name is Richard. Hey, this is Randall. Pardon me? My name's Randall, baby. I understand your name is Randall. Hmm, I think you were hitting on me. Um, no, not really. 
You don't like homosexuals? Uh, no. I, it, do you like faggot? Would you rather be a friend with a faggot or a homosexual? Well, it depends. If I came from the UK, I guess to be a friend with a cigarette wouldn't really work because you would smoke faggot, a fag back like, then. But there's a lot of faggots in chat, okay? Well, have, have, have you ever decided to, like, have you ever thought about going to their, their camp they have? Oh, my God. It's like you were I'm, reading my mind. Baby, I went to summer camp when I was 13, right? Yeah. I met the most amazing person there. The most amazing person. Um, did he walk on water? No, he's my, he's my camp guide. Oh, okay. And he would teach us how to wash up and stuff like that. And I don't even know where the fuck I'm going with this. Do you want me to? Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, I, I think I know where you're going with it. What did you say? You, no, you I said, said I a swear I word. I had to with it. What? No, you were saying that they taught you how to wash up. So I'm just so, imagine, you know, so, to me right away, I think about washing sins right away. But so I you want me to continue with the sex story is what you're saying, Richard. Pardon me? So you want me to continue with the sexy story? Um, I don't know if that's, like, you first ask, you know, about which religion you should follow. So I don't know, like, a religion that has a little bit more sex in it might probably be the type of religion that you're looking for. No, I'm thinking about penetration. I mean, you're asking me now. I mean, you're asking me these questions. No, no, so, no, no. I'm just, I'm just refreshing. You just did. You asked our, our me question. a question, did you? Okay. Baby? If I ask you a question, would you answer it? Or no? Oh, I will. Ask me whatever you want. Okay. So, are you looking for, what kind of, like, are you looking for a religion to follow? Or a religion to kind of like suit your, kind of like suit your lifestyle? I want to fuck. Okay, so, but how does that, how does that answer the question of religion, though, or lifestyle? I don't know. I'm asking you the question. And it well, all bows down to, I, think, I, think I just want to suck on a big car. I, I, I think if you follow the Neon Bible, you, you're going you're to get to do that as well. Fornication is there. It's not a problem. No gay. All right, so it all bows down to. Yeah, unfortunately, I, 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 well, that's why I'm suggesting that you, you kind of like go to, uh, you know, check out the, the camp where they, you know, like help. That's to, what I'll do then. How, how do I go about signing up for the camp? Well, I think you'd probably just get in touch with... Pardon me. Does he have AIDS? But it sounds this voice, this guy here, he does. No, you, you don't have. Have you ever been tested for AIDS? Yes, I have. And, and obviously, you're quite the healthy guy. About now. seven years ago, I was tested for AIDS. Yeah. I was dating a lot of African Americans, and I felt that maybe I should be tested for AIDS seven years ago. And I was clean. I mean, I, I feel perfectly fucking healthy right now. So, so you, you, you haven't done anything for the last seven years? You, like, you've been celibate for the last seven years? Oh, no, I've been doing a lot of stuff. I mean, but you asked me if I've ever been tested, and I'm well, not going to lie know, to you because you're pretty I, hot. I, I know you answered that, but I was just wondering if you actually have been doing anything for the last seven years. Since then. Since so you're going, you're, you're going back to asking me sexual questions again. Well, I'm just trying to see if you... I'm just, no, but I'm just saying, like, if you should be allowed into our, our, into our like... Does this man have AIDS? I don't have fucking AIDS. I don't. Do me a favor. You know what? I don't even okay. think that you're his father. Where's Richard? Put him near you. I want to see what he looks like compared to you. Why wouldn't I be his father? Because I don't know anymore. You're, asking, you're getting awfully kinky on like well, a... Well, I'm, I'm not getting kinky about the whole thing. I'm just, I'm just asking about, you know, getting to the camera. I'm here to settle this. Richard, get over there on the camera. This man is... It, I, I asked for some respect. My father travels respect? all the way down here from Alabama to help... And, 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 you know, he's doing his best. He's, he's not quite familiar with uh, the web sh tell shows, and, and he's, he's here to help. So his question um, is, is we, in order to, to gain access to our homo detox, you need to be clear of AIDS. Because if you detox. have a Freddie Mercury disease, then it's too late. I already told you. I was tested seven years ago. I remember sucking this black kid's <laughs> and I... And they, I got tested right after that, and they said yes. I was clean. Well, what is your white blood cell count? I got a lot of them. Because it has to be high. Because our testing, if it's not high, you, you, you won't make it through. I'm just, I'm just going to say. 
Silly, sexy, listen, I'm telling you, I get a bunch of those white ones. You, okay, well, I, 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 I pray that you do. Um, uh, okay. Who's tall? Are you okay, or your dad? Okay, okay. I love tall boys. The, the voice you're hearing now is St Richard, no, Stephen Chilton. We can test your jean shorts for AIDS just like on CSI. I'll tell you what, I can, t I can send you my, my underwear right now, and there's so much semen in those motherfuckers. You can test it right from there. You're not a sailor, are you? No, I'm not, baby. Why? You want me to walk the plank oh, no, for you? I just thought you're, I'll you do said, whatever yeah, you I'm, want. I just thought when I hear the word term semen, I just think cure sailors right away. You're so horny. Talk about how you cure gayness in Alabama. You know, I don't think he's really ready to hear that. Um, I think um, if he was you know, more serious about religion, he would probably w maybe want to try out the camp that you guys offer. And I just want to try the camp. I mean, for my camping experience, I love fucking camps. I love them. I, I know, but would you be like, is it something like you'd be willing to actually try like switching from being homosexual to heterosexual? Do heterosexuals have a lot of sex? Probably more so than homosexuals. Straight sex. I'll fucking do it. I'll fucking do it. With a vagina. Oh, okay. So then, then, then therefore, you know, my God, it, you, I, you're gonna follow. I'll, you're gonna follow the belief of you know, man and women be together. I'll, I'll be honest with you. Can you stand up? Um, I'd rather not at the moment, but I will later. I think the chat room wants you to stand up. Chat room, press one for him to stand up. Okay. Smart chat room. <laughs> You'll see. No, watch the chat, nah, silly. See, no, we're not. We're not getting that kind of response. What we really want to do is actually. Uh, look, oh my God! Oh, no, shit. no, but you know, you're deviating. You're deviating from from the 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 point that like, would you not like to have a. <laughs> Look at them. You're so hot over there with the microphone close to your lips. Uh, hey, listen. So but the point is, would you want to be heterosexual for the remaining of your life? Sex it's a, it's sex. a lot. It's definitely, it definitely would probably easier to follow the Bible, a Bible. They're pressing one. They are pressing one. Oh, my God. The server's is about to blow up. Stand the fuck up. <laughs> I, I, you know what? I tell you what. I, I, I don't mind standing up. I will stand. But if you kind of like could clean up the language a bit, I have a better, I, it'll be easier for me to, to kind of like ask a request and no problem. I'm, I'm cleaning. Okay, let's try it for a couple of minutes and see where it goes. But you know what? My question was what to you. What the fucking asshole you turned out to be? Jesus fucking Christ. The only thing I asked for you to do is fucking stand up. The chat room said fucking one. I'm going to suck on black cock, okay? And now you're playing games with me? Is that what you're doing? Um, actually, no. It's uh, on the contrary. No, I that's think. what you're doing. Well, I don't know, but, but, but I'm not beeping but, anymore either. You're not really, you're not really, you're not, you're not really respecting this, uh, the, this uh, chat line at all. No, you're, you're not, not like, respecting you know, what the fuck I want. That's what I'm saying. Stop this! I'll, I'm hanging up because you motherfuckers don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I want to suck black cock and stuff like that. You guys don't want to stand up or help me out. Go to the camp, yeah. Go to the fucking camp. Fuck that. You guys want to answer some of these questions? Richard Burnish? You know what? Let's hang I think, I think, I think Randall, Randall, Randall really wants to come clean, but uh, I, think, I think he has a hard time admitting it. We're ready for another call. Here we go. Sure we go. Hey there. You're on the line. Uh, I think you're not going to work out here. Nader, Nader, are you on the line there? Hello? Hey, hello. Uh, I've been waiting for my medicated pizza for hours now. Okay, and are you growing impatient? Didn't you ever once think of the customer? You call yourself a delivery boy? Well, I ain't buying! Oh, okay. You could always deliver a Bible if you ever... It's a joke. You know. it's a joke. Hello. Hey, hi. How are you to see? Yeah, you? Uh, is this Pastor Richard? Uh, senior, yes it is. Yeah, so I'm calling. I have a lot of turmoil in my life right now. I'm going through a lot of hard times. Okay. I, I've, I, I've recently hit a very hard spot in my career, and I'm hurting for money. You know, I just lost $32 million in, in gold. 
and I, I'm not sure what to do with my life. I, oh. I've been call, I've been praying to Jesus, you know, I mean, like 95, that, that's like my prayer level right there. Like, I've been praying that percent of the time. Okay, have you, have you considered maybe liquidating everything you own and actually becoming homeless for a while? Uh, actually, right now, I am living in a trailer. This trailer that I'm living in, I'm currently paying $120 worth of rent. I have three roommates. I'm not really sure what to do. Um, get rid of the trailer, take the $120, become homeless, try the summer out that way, and you might come to a better crossroad. But see, if I do this, and I'll be living on the side of the road, and I, I will not have any food or any way to survive if, if I do not live here with these people. I think, I, think, I think if you experience that, then you might have a better experience. I've, I've experienced it. I, I, I myself am 32 years old. And when I was growing up, I was in a very poor family. And I was lucky enough to get a good job and to make some money. And, you know, I, I've been going to church since I was seven years old. You know, I've went to church all my life. And I, I just, I don't know what to do here. I feel that Jesus is failing me. Well, I actually, a year ago, I purchased your neon Bible. I, I've read that thing from cover to cover. I just, I don't know what to do. Well, I think to experience what Jesus experienced wouldn't really hurt to just to try, try living alongside the riverbank. And you might realize that, you know, there's other things in life besides having to chase the mighty dollar of greed. And well, no, you, you and might, I mean, might, it's not all about the money, you know. Like, lesser. if you listen to me for a second, the, the other day, like, I was out just wandering around, like, as if it was a wilderness, you know, just, you know, out through the woods behind, my, behind this trailer that I'm living in. And there was actually a guy out there. And I thought maybe it was a shadow, like maybe he was wearing some cloak robes, like some ghostly robes or something. I don't, I don't really know what to think of it. But, you know, I went chasing after him. I ran after this guy, feeling that, you know, maybe I could catch him and something would happen. And I actually caught up to this guy, and he turned around and he actually attacked me. Like, he, he came after me with an aggressive force. And I don't know if this was just, you know, a figment of my imagination that God was trying to send to me. But, like, this guy pulled out a sword, like a dagger-type sword, and he, he just hit me with it. And it, it, was, it was like a, a two-swipe hit. Like, he hit me with it going forward and backward. And it, it hurt so much. But I, I really don't know what to think about that. Was that just a vision from God? Is, was he trying to tell me something? or? Well, it could, it could possibly be a sign, because, you know what, after all, it's a... Uh good chance that maybe that is a message coming to you. Um, I don't know for how much pain it inflicted, if it, whether it was pain that lingered to this conversation we're having, or if it was just something that appeared that it might have been psychologically painful, or actually did you, you know, have a bruising or a welt from it? Um, well, no, like, I actually had cut marks on me, like, and, and I remember as the guy ran away, he yelled, good fight. Like, I don't even know what it was about, but he yelled, good fight. Well, see there again. So maybe if he's just talking about fighting it, maybe that's what it is. You actually got to start from clay off the riverbed and walk it through and maybe walk yourself back into a different type of lifestyle where you're not worried about the $32 million that you lost and, you know, look at life from a different perspective. But, like, I, I don't understand. Like, I, I have many years of construction work behind me. Yeah, I've worked hard for everything that I've had. You I'm know, sure, I'm my sure Jesus, life. He, I'm sure Jesus worked many years of construction himself as well as he found the time to help preach to people. And I'm sure he understood what it's like when he gave up everything and decided to go around and just rebuild his life. He got whipped. Well, if I remember right, you know, I don't think it was a choice that Jesus gave everything up. And you're just asking me to give everything that I've ever had up. And, like, I don't know, like, a year ago in my life, you know, when I purchased your Bible and stuff, you know, everything was going great. I just purchased it to read because I believed the Word that much. And, I, I mean, I, I felt like I was probably ranked in probably the top 100 construction workers in the world. Well, I still like, think... I went, I went by the name Zezima back then. Like, they just called... 
happened? Yeah, I don't know what happened there. Something Seems to have a short or something clicked Let's off. Do one on more, it. one more call. Hey there. Hello. Hello. Dad. Uh, what's that? Dad. Dad. Are you Richard's dad or Stephen's dad? Um, Richard's father, yes. Oh, father. Yes. So are you proud of what your son's accomplished with this Jesus chat line and neon Bible type stuff? Well, he's, he's failing a little bit, but between Richard and Stephen, they're, they're trying, you know, they're trying. Um, you know, they definitely have a little further way to go. Uh, and unfortunately, I thought, like, even with donations, they would probably be a little bit further in numbers. Uh, as far as construction, they'd maybe have a better, bigger plan going. I thought maybe they're, it's like, you know, the viewers are something like, you know, the members of their church. And it seems like the Bible sales are, really should be a little bit higher up than what it is. Uh, I don't know if you're one of the persons that actually purchased the Bible yet or intend to. Yes, I you, have purchased my copy have, of the Neon Bible. I you bought have. the autographed version. Okay, did you did you ever make any contribution to their construction of a church? Um, I did donate, but I was told that the website I donated to was a scam. So no. Hmm. So you didn't. So you didn't. You never released any money to them yet. Well, I, I do think that I helped by purchasing a neon Bible. Okay, okay, but I, I know see, that's what I'm that's what I'm saying. Like for for the for their for their practice, I I know that they're very pleasant to be uh, you know it's pleasant to listen to, and they're quite easy to talk to as well. And they try to help the best they can to their followers, uh, but at the same time, in return, I think the followers have to just kind of put a little bit more money out there to help them succeed in helping and reaching to many more others. Okay. I just want to say one more thing. Sure. Fuck, I love David Green. Okay. okay. All right, stop the call. Hang on. Okay, we're going to... Okay, that's enough of that. Um, we're going to take a quick break. There's a lot of... <sighs> we'll, we'll, be, we'll be right back. Stephen, there's still a lot of cursing going on in the show. We need to screen it because, like, like, my Richard Senior has not done web shows before. We need to screen these calls because when they're on there and they're dropping f bombs, they're making the whole like the whole show looks stupid. I know. So make a managerial call. What would you do if you were me and it was your job to screen the calls? I would listen to what the employees say. But listen to the employee. Okay, well, just screen this call. And the, the last man said he wanted to talk about Noah's Ark. Hello? He didn't, he didn't even mention Noah's Ark. He said to me Noah's Ark. Yeah, but on the call he didn't say Noah's Ark. He said to me Noah's Ark, put me on the call, I want to talk about well, Noah's Ark. you say that every time Hello? you say he wanted to talk about Noah's Ark. What did he, tell me, what did he ask? One of these days somebody Stupid actually... Stupid One of these days somebody will talk about Noah's Ark. Yeah, but... Stephen, what do they say? Maybe Noah's Ark isn't good it's enough. It's on. Oh. It's not really, it's not okay. Oh, thank you, Stephen. They, they can't hear me. Oh, they can, can hear. Okay, well, I invited my father all the way down to join the show. 
And this is the behavior that, this is the treatment that he receives. Good Christians are on here, and, and uh, apparently good Christians, talking to my own father, and they're talking about gay. And, oh, Richard Sr., you, you're, you know, I'm not going to have it, because we will shut this show down. I am offended. I brought my father onto this show thinking that maybe they'd take us maybe the internet would take us a little bit more serious this time Stephen if we had an established man on the show and what do we get oh Richard senior I'm gay oh I you know maybe you got me I know I'm not speaking to everybody and I know some people are here for advice and to help. And it's just a handful of people that are trying to ruin it for everyone. They're trying to ruin it for everyone. You know what? And they want us to quit. I saw it. Someone said shut it down. Yeah, they just, let's just shut it down, they're saying. They want us to quit. You know what? Jesus didn't quit. Nope. Jesus was persecuted. He was whipped, and they made a movie about it. And in that movie, they, they did all kinds of things to him. But he didn't quit. And you know what? I'm just like Jesus. I'm better than Jesus. I am better than Jesus, and I'm definitely not going to quit. Just like Stephen told me the other day. Jesus, uh, Richard, he said, you know, if Jesus, you know, because Stephen likes martial arts. He's big into karate. And he says to me, Richard, do you think if Jesus was fighting in, in, in ultimate fighting, would he, would, would, you know, would he tap out? Would he tap on the arm and say, you know what? I, he wouldn't, Jesus would fight his way through MMA, and that's what we're going to do. You are better than Jesus. Thank you. He wouldn't tap out. Jesus would fight his way through just like in MMA. So we're going to go and just take this next call. Hello, caller. Welcome to the Jesus Chat Line. I'm your host, Richard Burnish, Jr. Hello? Caller, go ahead. Did you, have, did you have a question? Hello to you, my friend. I have many questions, and I would like you to answer them immediately. Go on. I'm sorry, the, the delay is very confusing. I must first off point out I am a big fan of the absolute vodka behind you. This is best of vodka outside of Russia, my friend. But beyond that, I must talk to you about Jesus. Stephen, there was, there was booze back there. That was holy water. Okay, but it's good. It's not a problem. But do you understand? Do you hear me? Hello, caller. Okay. Sorry about that. So, hello, caller. Sorry, we had a tech, we had a bit of a uh, video glitch there. Um, that is fine. I will continue my call. Is that okay? Okay. Yes. What were you were talking about? About what? Okay. I was having a problem recently. I was doing very bad things inside my household, and my mother, she was very angry with me, and this is why I'm in the United States now, because. When I was there, I was getting into a lot of trouble. I was vandalizing vehicles, and I was painting on walls with a spray paint. And then I go home, and my mama says, you're moving in with your auntie and uncle in Bel Air. And this I do. And when I show up, I must tell you, your first show I hear about. And then I start thinking about Jesus. And I never thought of Jesus back in Russia. This was not my thing in Russia. But now I see that Jesus, he was a good man. And I have a question about what is differences between your, your belief system and your church and Christianity as a whole? Sorry about that, caller. What, what was the last part? I had to, I had to uh, could you repeat the question? 
What is the difference between Christianity and the Neon Bible? What is the difference between Christian Bible and the Neon Bible? Oh, I see what you're saying. What is the difference? Okay, well, the Neon Bible was a Bible that I myself published. Um, it is, um, the Bible was written a long time ago, and it doesn't really speak to today's world. It needed to be updated, much like your, your iTunes, for example, how you need the latest version. You also need the latest, you know, I've sort of uh, updated the Bible to speak to today's world. Do you understand? I agree with this. And I must also say that Kids these days, we do not respect the book as much. What we say is, I, I am biggest fan of your Richard's package. Richard's package is the greatest thing to happen to the United States. I come to Bel Air because my mother says, your mm. aunt and uncle will be of great influence to you in Bel Air. You go there, your uncle will be there, he will be a good man. Your cousin will be there, he will be a good man. And he will teach you the ways of Jesus. And you will not do bad things here. Because I got in a lot of trouble. I was doing many bad things. I got in one okay. little fight. Okay, you know what? This is a joke. This is a, This sounds like that movie Borat. Okay? So, I can tell when somebody's calling in with a Borat soundboard. And, and you know what? I'm going to hang up every time. I've seen that movie and it was, it was, it was disgusting. And it, you know what? It wasn't. It wasn't funny at all. He said all that in the movie. I recognize that those clips from the movie. Borat soundboard. Hello, call. You're live on the air with Richard Burnish. Yeah, I got one thing to say. I can't believe that people are calling him with the stuff they are. Because my problem here is. I got a loaded gun. I'm kind of bored. Let's see what it'll do to my face. Caller? Are yep. You, are, you, are, are, you, are you serious? Does this sound like I'm joking? Caller? Yep. Well, I, I just... I'm going to ask you, uh, did you say that you had a loaded weapon? you say that that loaded weapon was pointed at your face? Yep. W would you put the weapon down and just, just talk talk for a little while? You should give me some of that vodka. Uh, which, which, what vodka? I sell the vodka, don't lie. If you're going to hell for lying, and you're also going to hell for saying you're better uh, than Richard, me. I you don't, don't fuck yourself. Richard doesn't, dr oh, okay. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. Welcome, um, uh, welcome to the program. I just, I just want to say Tyler Bradley, Herschel, Aaron Pfeiffer, and can you hear me now, Jessica? We'll be right back. Hello? Hello? Uh, <clears throat> sorry, uh, hello caller and welcome, uh, welcome to the program. I'm your host, uh, Richard Burnish, and welcome to the Jesus Chat Line. Uh, finally, I get Richard Burnish back on the call. Where I is my package you were supposed to be sending me? Well, uh, if you're talking about... This is Leroy Sinclair. I recognize your voice, Leroy. Uh, um, we sent you uh, the care package with the beads and the dream catchers and the mucklucks to the address if that you... If you sent me beads, I am going to turn them into anal beads and then come down there. 
and I bring a tranny with nine inch penis to give you hot beef injection. That was not our deal. Our deal was two boxes of beer and a bottle of whiskey, and you're late with the payment. I'm going to have to charge you two cartons of smokes as interest. Leroy, we said that we would give you beads. And I told you I don't want beads. I'm well, native. it's non-negotiable. We're not negotiating. I'm We're native. not. We already own your land. You own my land. Okay, you own my land. Why were you impersonating me? That's what I want to know. Leroy, you don't have any land. You don't have any beads. You have no ground to stand on. So how dare you accuse the Jesus chat line and tarnish its name for being uh, for being an imposter? I wonder what your father must think. You running around impersonating people and making fun of them, preaching the Bible out of one side of Sir, your face. Sir, are you drunk? The people. Sir, have you no, been I'm drinking? Not drunk. No, I'm not drunk. You sound like you're drinking. Leroy? I am not drinking. I can't be drinking because you didn't send me my two boxes of beer and bottle of whiskey. All I got were these stupid mocklucks and freaking beads. What am I those, supposed to do with those? Are, those are authentic Indian beads. They're not authentic Indian beads. I'm native. You're trying to pass off dime store beads you got at what? Michael's no, Craft no. Store? We know, we know an Indian and he made those beads. We know an Indian. How about I come down there and give you some mucklucks? Some mucklucks up your butt. His name was Chief Running Deer. To go with... So, sorry about that, everybody. I accidentally... I accidentally crossed my legs and I crunched myself. No, there'll be no scalping. Stephen baked a pie. I'm going to show everybody your pie, Stephen. He made a pie uh, for us uh, on the show. Okay, Stephen, would you mind taking a few calls? I'm a little upset about some of the calls that I've been getting and some of the... Just then, I'm gonna pass the, uh, the mic to Stephen for a minute. Uh, okay. <clears throat> Thank you, everybody. I'm back now in the chair and here to take calls and discuss church and all kinds of things like that. We are eating cherry pie and drinking dad's cream. Um, I'm going to take a call and then I, uh, and then I just have something a little, uh, uh, something I want to say. Hi, hi, Newt. Hello to Newt Gingrich, who is on the chat tonight, in the chat um, board. And um, Jason Jr. 987 is also on the chat board. This is a good time to remind you that we are on, um, if you go to our website, jesuschatline.com, we have um, um, a, um, y you'll see a link for Headspace. Hello, Father Sam and Allah and I am world. And, um, oh dear, there's a name that's not appropriate. Maybe the mods can, can high cool junk. And, um, okay, we're going to take some calls now. Welcome to our program. My name is Stephen Chilton. Hey, how are you doing today? Very good, thank you. Yeah, I was calling. Uh, first of all, I would like to say thank you to Richard for, you know, keeping this program open. I'd see people spamming the chat line, just asking to shut the thing down, and that wouldn't be very good at all. We are not going to shut it down. Thank you so much. I, uh, I've, I've actually been sitting here with a group of friends, and, you know, we've, we've read over the Bible multiple times. We're churchgoers. We go every Wednesday and Sunday. We go Sunday morning and Wednesday night to our Wednesday services. 
And, you know, me, Timothy, David, and uh, Tyler here, we, we've read through the Bible at least three times. And uh, Tyler has one question, if you don't mind answering it. Oh, not at all. So you are real enthusiasts, right. then, if you have all gathered in one oh, home? Definitely. I, yeah, you can definitely say that. We've actually, we've actually read your Neon Bible, or Richard's Neon Bible, my bad. And I, I actually, I'm a big fan. You know, I like how he's modernized the Bible and made it, you know, more up-to-date for younger kids who, you know, who needs guidance and feel the need to read the Word in a new, up-to-date fashion. What is Tyler's question? Here you go. Here, I'll actually I'll hand this one off to Tyler. Here you go. Okay. Thank you for taking my call, by the way. Steven? Yes. Steven, is this Steven? Hi, how are you doing tonight? I'm doing very well. Is this Tyler? Yes, this is me. I, I really like, it's need like Tyler some guidance. Durden? I, I, I actually have a very uh, important question. I, I'm going to be very frank with you. I have smoked weed since the age of 13, and I know it's illegal. And a certain part of me feels wrong with this. And I, I, as a Christian, as a fellow Christian, I want to get your opinion on this. Because uh, in Genesis it says God gives all seed-bearing plants to man. But in Romans it also says that we should obey all laws. What should I do? I, I'm, I'm torn. Well, you need to obey the law. Because if you break the law, you will go to prison. And when you go to prison, you will pay the price all day. And um, Richard and I are developing a song called Pay the Price that's going to be on iTunes. But anyways, um, to get back on track, if you are in prison, and if you are in a cell with a man who looks like Danny Trejo, how is it that you're able to help your community? Um, well, I hold a full-time job, and here's my thing. When I use marijuana... It is not above a job. It is not above my family. And I believe in following laws. But man-made laws, I believe, that are under God-given laws. For instance, like I said, in Genesis, all seed-bearing plants were given by God. You know, I'm not to be judged by a fellow man. I'm to be judged by God, the one that gave me marijuana. Well, do you understand where I'm coming from? I do. But here is the thing with marijuana, is that it is a man-made drug made in a factory and it's hauled around from town to town, and it is not grown from a seed. So it is not proper to have it. You will go to prison, then you cannot have your groups anymore. Well, I mean, when you say man-made, actually made in a factory, I, I only partake in organic sacrifices, organic and hydroponic, grown from water, earth, and seed. I, I, I absolutely no chemicals, no man-made products. So when you say that, I get a little bit confused. What do you mean by this? Obey the law, and you will not get the police involved. You will not go to prison. You will not have to wear the pumpkin suit, and you will be able to continue to join in on your meetings. You, you're, you will do much better, sir, out in the community, helping your I, fellow I totally man you than you will fending off Daniel Trejo. But here's, here's my, I mean, I'm looking at it like this. It's against the law in my state. If I move to California, Colorado, Michigan, there's all medical marijuana. And California's proper, uh, you know, trying to pass a bill for recreational use right now. So if that gets passed, since the law is different in my state than in California, well, what does that say about the law? They're contradicting each other. Satan is at work here. He's, in the government, and the laws, or in me? I'm not, I'm not following you. There is a conspiracy at hand. The world is being run by bankers. They are trying to create Illuminati, interest. Illuminati, I know. They're trying to create interest out of thin air to become wealthy at your expense. And they I want you on fact, drugs. Have you ever heard of Illuminati? It is made by bankers. I know groups like Reign of Terror... VR, uh, David Green, a.k.a. Saber XX. We have they a banker in our chat room, even. They are everywhere. There is even a banker um, among us right now. I know, David. He, he, Saber XX will not... He's everywhere. And that's, that's the ultimate government group. And you cannot escape him. 
And I, no. and I honestly know this. But I'm torn, you know. I don't think it's a bad thing, you know. I don't partake in chemicals. I don't partake in anything that doesn't come from the earth. I don't drink, you know. But I believe, I, I believe when God talks to me and say that, says that I can use marijuana, and it's not a bad thing. I mean, <clears throat> how, can you, how can you say that's wrong, you know? I have a story coming up that um, I think that after you hear it, uh -huh. you will... You will see our point of view. You will see the point of view of the Neon Bible. And I'm sure, Tyler, that your focus group, or I'm, not, I'm sorry, not your, your stu church study group there will understand as well. Um, they're, very, they're very passionate about the, what they do. We're, we're in advanced Bible studies. Uh, a couple of our groups, we have code names. They're DDS, AGS. Most of them are different specs. We look at... We look at different uh, views of the Bible, different, you know, you have King James Version, you have revisions of that. We try to look at everything, you know, I'm just really I'm poor. sorry, the, the King what? The King James Version of the Bible. That's what we really base our studies around. And you can, you can tell multiple times how if, if you tell the out, then you're a Teletubby, and if you don't get TV, then say, but you're great, oh, they will fuck you, I'm doing that, get swag, I knew it was a joke all along, as soon as he started talking about the king's speech. <clears throat> okay, um, what was that movie that you and I saw, Richard? What was that? Priest. Well, no, we saw Priest, but there was that one we went to the theater the other night. Remember? And they had the, the, the trailer for Battleship before it. What was the movie? Do you remember? Name some movies. What, what has been in the theater lately? Oh, it was Cowboys versus Aliens. No, Cowboys and Aliens we went and saw. And we weren't expecting very much, but was it ever a wonderful film? There was an actor by the name of Daniel Craigslist in it, and he put on a very um, gutsy performance. But, all right, I'm going to get on to my story before we take another call. And, he, and here, here's what it is. Now, a lot of people have messaged me and asked, what is, what are, what, <clears throat> what is our backgrounds? And I will tell you that Richard um, used to deliver packages. Um, he had a business called Richard's Packages. And I myself, Richard's Package, I'm sorry. And I myself was a trucker. And... Like many young men, I was lured by what they refer to as the romance of trucking. So I had this boss who didn't get along with me very well. And he wanted to, uh, he wanted to make me pay the price, <laughs> let's just say. So I showed up one, one morning with that front part of a truck, like the, the part that you hook onto the big back part. And I said, what do you have for me today, boss? And he said, back your truck up, son, um, because I have the big part ready. And I hooked it up, and I said, what will I be hauling? And he said, come around the side, son. And I looked, and it said, summer's eve. And, and I said to the boss, what, are you kidding me? What is this? And he said, you are going to be hauling this. It was a feminine product, and I said, fine, okay, here we are. In, at the time, I lived in a different country. The country was called Canada. And I said, where will I be taking this to? And he said, you will be going to Phoenix, Arizona with this load of feminine summer's eve. And I thought, I am going to get the better of my boss, and I'm going to deliver the load to, the, to Arizona. Remember that one? So I got behind the rig and I started driving. And as I made my way, I took a lot of ridicule. I had a lot of truckers pull alongside me. And I'm gonna, can I use a little bit of rough talk here to keep this authentic? I heard things like, hey, douchebag. You know, I turned on my CB and I was speaking and I heard, um, um, breaker, breaker, douchebag. You know, stuff like that. Every channel I went to. So, 
just because I was hauling this product and I was just trying to make a living. So as many of the truckers might know out there, there are many truck stops along the way. And I stopped and I had a glass of old granddad. And one glass turned into two and two turned into three. And I can tell you there's nothing more exhilarating than having about six or seven glasses of old granddad and getting behind the wheel of a big rig. Well, I was just passing Santa Fe, New Mexico when my truck jackknifed. And through the front part of the truck, I looked out the window and saw the back part of the truck right beside me. And the, that part came off and spilt all over. And I got out of the truck and it smelled like a Miss, bag of Miss Vicky's salt and vinegar chips. And as I stood there at the interchange of I-40 and the other one that runs across it, I could hear the sirens. And I said, Please, Lord, if you deliver me from this, I will never drink again, and I will vow to clean up the filth on the Internet, on Vogan TV. And at that moment, a semi pulled up alongside, and a man rolled down his window, and he said, Get in, son. And I looked, and it was Roadhammer. And he said, hop into the passenger side of my rig. We've got some work to do, son. And I asked him, what are you hauling? And he says, Bibles. And we're going to Oakland, and we're going to deliver these Bibles. And I have a man for you to meet there, and his name is Richard Burnish. And uh, this we ask in the name of the Lord. Amen. It's the end of the sermon. Hello? Hello? Hi. Hello to you, my friend. How are you? I'm doing excellent. And what about you today? Are you a Russian, I sir? I'm going you by. Yes, sir. I've spoken earlier to your friend Richard. Yes. And he's a good guy. But I want to ask. I want to answer my question. Again. Are you what? wearing a Are you wearing a track suit, sir? Am I wearing a track suit? No. Yeah, I'm I not. thought I saw you I in not. Vegas last week. No, no, no. You think I'm a man from Grand Theft Auto? I'm not this man. Okay. I'm currently wearing gym shorts, and I'm wearing no shirt, and I'm sitting in a bed. Okay. At my aunt and uncle's house in Dallas. Okay. But I wanted to ask her something separate for Stephen, something that is different. Go ahead. Um, for Stephen. Stephen, you're a friend of uh, Richard, you say? Yes, we are friends, and we are partners in this Church of the Neon Bible. This is Neon Bible. This is good. I enjoy the name Neon Bible. That is a side note. I just wish to say that off of record, you say. But anyway, Stephen Shilton, why do you, why do you pander to man named Richard? Why don't you do your own thing? I feel like you would do so very well if you would go out on your own. You seem to be very mature. You're a very grown in man. You seem to be very strong. You have good jawline. You have big, powerful jawline. I feel like if you go into you go into a woman's place, she say, "This is good. I like you. You're very strong." So why did you not? Why do you not do your own thing and get away from Richard and stop having him tell you what to do? Yanish Nayu. That's how I would respond to you, sir. No, in all seriousness, we run a church, and we will not stop, we will not stop, we will not stop. And um, I respect you. Can I, tell I respect you one quick, you. can I tell you one quick story while I have you on the line? 
I would love for you to tell me a story. Now. Okay, well, Richard wanted to attend um, a course at the local university where you could learn Russian. And it yeah. cost us $2,000 in donation money to send him to this. And it was an accelerated course. It was only going to take four days, and he would pr they promised fluent Russian. So Richard comes back after four days, and he comes back to where um, we were staying at the time, and I said, Richard, I'd like to know how our 2000 in uh, donation money was spent. Um, could you please uh, tell me a little bit of Russian? And he looked at me and he said, go F self. Ah, 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 this is a good joke, my friend. No, it, it happened. No, oh, it's not a joke? No, it's not a joke. It's not a Just joke. A we um, have one more question for you, my friend. Okay, one more, and then we'll yes. let you go, and we're going um, we're gonna to let someone else rock the mic here. Go ahead. That is, that is very respectable. Okay, here we go. This is my friend, is it David. Or hello to you, sir. Or what are you doing? I say, man, what is that, him? Well, he's sitting on his chair. Look at him. He's not using his brain. What do you expect? I go on the internet, and you're going to get serious calls? Oh, you're not using your brain a bit, are you, son of Jim? We, oh, have, we have a Swede on the line. Welcome from no, no. S welcome to Sweden. Oh, not Swedish. Oh, you think you can call me a Swedish? Swedish people are allowed. Bit. Swedish people are allowed here. Oh, do you think I'm a bloody Swede? Oh, look at you! Look at you with your blonde hair. You're obviously a Polak. <laughs> oh, did you, sir? Oh, Thank That's you. it. He called me. Who's the guy in um, Usual? No, the guy in Usual Suspects. Kevin, Kevin Pollock? Yeah, he called me Kevin Pollock from Usual Suspects. I cannot believe that. All right. Thank you very much. I'm ready to um, pass the mic on now. Um, so we're going to go to a break. I'm going to see if I can uh, figure out how to cue this up here. Video? Do I press? Okay, uh, let's try this one. Here's a good one. Okay, we'll be back. Oh, hello? Okay, um, we, I'm going to pass the microphone off. First, we want to pray for the hurricane. Um, please, may the hurricane not um, damage people's property, and may the hurricane not uh, make it so that people can't go to work. And, and maybe, and that, yes, and that everyone will be okay, that there will be no hurricane. Uh, except for the uh, Carolina Hurricanes, <laughs> that hockey team. Okay. Like yeah, we're getting rocked like a hurricane. That band from Germany has that. Rocking like a hurricane? Yeah. 
Okay, um, I would just like to remind people before I pass on the mic that the Neon Bible says that when there are a hundred or more present, I am with you. And that's what's happening right now. So Jesus indeed is, Jesus is indeed with us now. And uh, the next voice, are you going on now, Richard? The next voice you'll hear now will be that of Richard, Burn, Richard Burnish. Thank you. Thanks for the big, big, war, big welcome there. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the show. If you're just tuning in, I am uh, your host, Richard Burnish, uh, and I'm here to take your calls. Hello, caller. You're live on the air with Richard Burnish on the Jesus chat line. Yes, is this Richard? Yes, welcome to the program. Yeah, I, I am actually I'm a pastor myself in Virginia. Go on. You're, you're originally from Alabama, correct? Uh, well, that is my... Uh, you, you and your father? My yes. father is from Alabama, yes. All right, yeah. We were just hit by an uh, earthquake. It mm -hmm. actually hit in D.C. I'm sure you've seen the news on it. Yeah. And I have many members asking me why Jesus would do such a thing. And uh, I, I don't actually want to say any of my members of services names on, you know, I know you guys are online and stuff. I've been following you for years, but I know you guys are online. But, like, one of my members, uh, I'll just call him uh, Tweak, let's just say Tweak, all right? He's been, he's been with us for going on nine years now. Mm -hmm. And he's actually freaking out. He's wondering if Jesus is even real because of this earthquake that tore apart his house. I mean, I'm well, not really sure what to tell him about this. Well, the Lord works in mysterious ways. And, you know, when he closes one door, he opens a window. You know, that's something that in, 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 in times of, of despair that one must keep, one must consider or keep in mind that it's not so much the, the, the closing uh, of one chapter, but the beginning of of another. Well, I know he does, and like I say, you know, in Virginia, there's a local society called Sabers. You know, uh, I, I think the actual things XX Sabers. Uh, it's ran by a guy named David, and they are combating Jesus Christ. Now, after this earthquake, they're saying that you know their leader is causes their leader Gozu. And I'm not sure who this Gozu is, but they, they're like, this Gozu Tyler is causing all of this problem. And the, the Tweet 900, the guy that uh, is coming at me, he's believing this, and he's about to turn sides. And I, I'm not sure what to do about this. This is actually breaks my heart. Sir, uh, you do realize that this is a, uh, a Christian channel, Yes. Yeah, that is what I'm speaking of. Yes, yeah, I'm a Christian. It sounds as though you were speaking I, I of, of, the word of, God. of pagan idols and, 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 go ahead, and go false ahead. gods or counterfeit well, gods. See, my worry is is that one of my fellow members of worship is going to swap and believe that God is not the way to go, and I, I'm very scared that this is going to happen. Like I say, this David guy that's running this XX Saber thing locally him and this Gozu Tyler person, they're persuading my members. They're persuading my members to have you been? Uh, have you way. been to Israel? Excuse me, what you say? I didn't hear you. I'm sorry, I'm interrupting, but have you been to the Holy Land? Have you been to Jerusalem? Uh, my, me, myself, no, I haven't. My, uh, my superior pastor, the guy that actually owned this church before me, he actually had been, he had visited there, and... You know, he, he is the one that taught me the word. He, he is the one that I learned everything I know from. You talk a lot. And, you need uh, to listen him, more. As, him and as well as the Bible. And, I, I mean, this, this Saber XX guy, I don't really know what to do about him and his fellow members of Gozer Tyler and Tweet 900. They're ruining my church. They're ruining my washers. They'll right. show up outside. They'll show up outside and they'll just crash my washups and they'll say that the devil is coming and Satan is going to rule the world and stuff. Sir, um, and please do not take offense to this, but you sound you you sound like you have a lot to say. 
you, you, you listen very little and you say a whole lot. Now, I had asked you, oh, if, you, if, you'd been, if, if you had been to Jerusalem, and uh, uh, it, was a, it was a yes or no question. Now, uh, no, the, Lord, the Lord gave us two ears and one mouth for a reason, okay? Okay, okay, all right, go ahead and speak. Okay, now, um, you said that your pastor, um, who, who tra- you said your pastor who trained you uh, was from the, the Holy top. Land? He, he actually, he, he, was, he is also from Virginia, but he went to the Holy Land. He had visited the Holy Land himself. I see, I see. Now, uh, what, what is his name? His name? His yes. name is actually James. Yes. I'm not, I'm not going to give his last name. You're actually on okay, the Okay, James. The internet, I, I think so. I'm familiar... I think I'm familiar from uh, James from Virginia. Did he do some work with the during Virginia Tech, the massacre that occurred at Virginia Tech? Um, not that I recall. I mean, if something like that happened, I wasn't aware well, of because, it. Uh, you but may, he very uh, well there was, could have, you know. I just started studying about 11 years ago, so. Okay, well, this Virginia Tech incident occurred not too long ago by a gentleman named Cho. By who? His name was... Ch- Cho Sin One. His name was Cho. Cho. Yes. No, I, I, now, I do not Cho? believe that James was in on that. Do you know if this was one of the followings of uh, Saber XX or the uh, the Gozu Tyler or the Tweet 900? What is he saying, Stephen? He says those names over and over. I don't know what that is. They, they are they are part of the biggest following in Virginia that I know of. And I want to move to the next call. Hello, caller. You're live on the air. Hello. Am I on the air? You're you're on. Welcome to the program. Hi. How are you doing, Richard? I'm glad to see you're still doing the show. Yeah. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, you know, we've we've moved the show over from C-band satellite to the internet. So uh, thank you. Um, I haven't, I haven't actually watched or, you know, called in since last time I saw, um, Steven, he uh, got struck by lightning and died. How is he doing? Did you ever, uh, collect well, enough money to, uh, well, what were you trying um, to do? Bury him? Um, we did receive a fair deal of donations. However, um, we, um, we did, should I tell him? Okay. Well, what happened there, caller, and I'm sorry that you're late to find this out, but we had staged Stephen's death in order to increase Bible sales. Um, we were trying to increase, we were trying to do God's work, we were trying to sell more Bibles, and we thought if people thought that he had died, they would be a little bit more giving with their money, and then we could get this church built quicker. Um, so you're saying Stephen is not dead? No, Stephen did not die. Um, are, you, are you absolutely sure? Uh, uh, yes, yeah, he's right, he's right here. Um, Stephen, would you like to say hello? Yes, hi, my name is Stephen Shilton, and we're with you live tonight on Vogan TV. Vogan Live. Oh, and I'll show you Oh my me. God, he, he is I'll alive. Show you are you, me. Stephen, are you an angel? Are, are you back? Have you been resurrected? <laughs> he didn't die. It was, uh, it was a, um, uh, it was a hoax. And, but we, you know what, we've, we've, we've said our part, and we've, we're moving on. God bless so, you, Stephen. I love you. Hear that, Stephen? We love all everybody. Suck a dick.
This entire show is not recorded. Hello, everybody, and welcome back. Um, we're going to pass this off uh, to uh, Richard Burnish Sr. to take a few more of our calls, uh, your calls. Um, he is my father, and he uh, is all the way here from Alabama, and he's here to help. So um, uh, without any further ado, here is Richard Burnish uh, Sr. Uh, on the microphone um, to take your calls. Here you go, Pappy. Thank you. Hey, all. All right, let's take our first call. Let's get this thing moving here. And. Hey, hello. Hey, hello. Hey, it's Margaret over here in, uh, in Galt, California. Yo. And uh, I've been having these urges lately. Such as what? Like urge to. Eat chips? Uh, what kind of urges? That's something I shouldn't mention in your sins. Well, okay. Um, before you go any further on that, is it something that, you know, a homo detox center can't help you with, or is it something else? It might be able to, but I don't think it'll do just what it needs to do. Oh, okay. Uh, in a roundabout way, what are we speaking of? Do you think you could uh, read me a uh, temptation part from the Neon Bible? Mm, I don't have the Bible in front of me. And since my son did write it, um, I would rather have him, you know, if, uh, if he's going to read something out of the Bible, I'd rather just have him just speak personally himself. Um, but anyways, um, the content that you're looking for, what is it, what, what is it regarding? Like, what, how, does, how does it personally affect you that you want to hear that? It's about temptation, and uh, my neon Bible was recently stolen from me by a homeless man. Oh, well, actually, I wouldn't really call that stolen. That's a good thing, because at least one homeless man is going to learn something new about life. Uh, for you, what we could do is, you know, maybe you could send an email, and what we'll do is we'll, 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 uh, we'll send you another Bible free, and hopefully with that free Bible, maybe perhaps you could actually pass that around to some other people, and, you know, with that you can see that our church is actually looking to do quite good for all. We have to charge shipping, though. A shipping, of course, always applies. For the shipping. Of course, that's always applied. I'm sure you're with, okay with that. Yes, I am. I'll also send a quite a large donation, too. Excellent, excellent. I'd like to see that. So your temptation, is it just something that um, you need a little bit of help with, or how do you, how do you feel about that? Well, uh, I'm really looking for more guidance than anything. Oh, well, maybe I could just help you right off the hop. What kind of guidance are you looking for? I don't really want to talk about it on the live TV show. Oh. Well, we'll bring it offline and you can talk about it offline. Well, we could try it offline. How's that? Maybe okay. Okay, go right ahead. We're, gonna, we're just going to hit a button here and you're all set to go. Okay. Offline. All right, you're offline. Okay, well, there's been this uh, this man who's been coming into my work lately. Yes. And uh, he keeps giving me his phone number and telling me he wants to come have uh, cream pie with me. <laughs> Are you female and you do cooking? Yes, yes, I do. Oh, so you're a female and, and, you, and you cook, so therefore he's asking you something quite sincerely then. Or am I yes, mistaken? Uh, yes, yes, yes. He wants to make me a cream pie. Yeah, but that's that's fine. If you you know, I imagine I you know. I love cream pie. Me too. So there you go. We actually had pie this evening ourselves. So therefore, if you know, as being a woman, and if your mother taught you how to cook well, I can't. And you know, if you have some attractiveness to you that this man wants to give you his number and wants to have cream pie with you, I can't see why that you know. What's wrong with it? I think it's all fine. I think as far as temptation goes. I don't think you have to worry about temptation. Just go with it. Well, I kind of think he wants more than that, too. Well, you know, men and women, you know, of course, in the Neon Bible, like any other Bible, you know, it's all okay that, you know, things get together. Well, no, uh, his brother is the homeless man who stole my Bible. This is a joke. 
Oh, oh okay. Call. I thought you actually. <laughs> all right, we're out. We're out. Go to the next call. Hey there. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Hi. I just want to. Um, I just want to share something with Richard and Stephen that you know has helped me through the years, and considering they've helped me in the past few months, I just want to share this with them. Uh, this is a, hold it. Hold it. Are you? Are you? Are you? Are we are we heading into a joke? Or are you being sincere about this? Because no, I'm I tell being you what, you're like if you could just make a joke of it, maybe what I should do is record the address. It's a reading. It's a nothing here. grotesque or or vulgar in any way. Repeat that again, it's please. Nothing, it's nothing grotesque or vulgar in any way. Okay. Well then, go ahead. Speak your mind. All right. All right. It, this is a few line poem that really has helped me. It's a, it's a story about, you know, changing places. But here we go. Now, this is the story all about how my life got flipped, turned upside down. And I'd like to take a minute, just sit right there. I'll tell you how I became the prince of a town called Bel Air. I'm joking up here. In West Philadelphia, born and raised, on the point ground where I spent most of my days, chilling out, maxing, relaxing, all cool, and all shooting some b-ball outside of the school. And a couple of guys, they were up to no good, started making trouble in my neighborhood. I got in one little fight, my mom got scared, and she said, you're moving with your aunt and uncle in Bel Air. I whistled for a cab, and when it came near, the license plate said fresh and had a dice in the mirror. If anything, I could say that this cab was rare, but I thought, nah, forget it, yo, homes, to Bel Air. I pulled up to a house about seven or eight, and I yelled to the cab, yo, homes, uh, it's so sorry, sorry. You know what? Um, if you could do that with a little bit more like rhythm and kind of like, kind of do it more like a little bit more little hip hop ish, it could be quite interesting what you're saying because it sounds like you're you're quite the poet. Uh, hello. So, go, go for it. Go for it. Start over again and let me hear that again because just pick up the momentum though because you're a little bit dragging. Give a little bit more beat. Get the spirit in there. Put some spirit because otherwise you sound like you've been drinking. Hello. Hello. Hey. Who am I? Who am I speaking with? Who's this? I'm Leroy Sinclair. Who are you? Oh, I'm Richard Burnish Senior. Hey, Leroy. I heard your voice so many times before. Do you realize your son is imitating me? What do you think of that? I don't think he'd imitate you. I don't think you know. There's a lot of colors he on there. He is. Uh, I think that's a figment of your imagination. He's been drinking. Well, I'm not saying... I've been drinking. You've been drinking? I've not been drinking. Holy they haven't water. sent me my two boxes of beer and bottle of whiskey. How can I be drinking? I'm still waiting yeah, but, for but, it. But, 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 yeah, but even still, like, obviously, you know, you may... You, you, I want to make, a, I no. make a comment. Stephen I, said earlier that he was enjoying some pie and some dad's cream. Are they yeah, getting it okay, fresh from the what's source? Wrong with that? What's wrong with that? But I don't think anybody impersonated you, though. Are they getting, you, getting it from fresh, fresh from the source? Hey, listen, what's your middle name? I don't have a middle name. Really? Okay, so you're not from a Christian family? I'm native. You're native? Well, well I, don't, I don't understand. That native doesn't mean I want to know why because you're native he's doesn't mean imitating you can't be a me. Why? Why? I've watched past broadcasts. Well, I don't know, but I think you should have a middle name, and maybe perhaps Richard and Stephen, maybe together, they should give you a middle name. Yeah, how about Leroy Tomahawk St. Clair, and I come down there and scalp them too? Ah, come on. I, I don't know, like, what are, you, what are you drinking? Obviously, it must be a little bit more like rye whiskey or something, but I think, you know what, we should help you here. It should be, you know, you should take this as help. We're extending our hands out to you to help I you. I don't want help. I just want to, have to stop yeah, imitating me. It, I and if they're it, going to continue to imitate me, it should be these. I don't think they're imitating me. you. I don't think they're imitating. Hey, let's say for example, let's say this winter, <laughs> you're a funny guy. Hey, let's say for this winter, what happens if we want to be really mean? And and here you are, you're in a nice cell, and we put you in with a bad guy, a real. I want bad to know guy. something, okay? You don't I want to. I'm going to tell you something. Listen, we're trying to said, help you. He called in pretending to be me, and he said that he fell off the roof fixing his satellite dish. I want to know how he knew I fell off my roof fixing my satellite dish. Was he stalking well, me? I, I think, I think what kind I think, 
What you kind may... of father are you raising a no, listen, son like listen. that and as a stalker? Oh, you're a funny guy, but you're not. But listen, I think the thing is that, you know, like all the emails that you keep sending all the time requesting things, like I think that's the problem. You, you're always looking for a handout. I'm not looking like, for like, a handout. Like, I'm I think looking you're the same for guy a resolution. That, but resolution. I think you're the same guy that keeps on asking for free Bibles. And, I don't and, and want as far a as Bible. As, and another thing of suspicion was that I think these, these young men have been faithfully giving you a free Bible and it's been told that you're selling it at Safeways and, and uh, Targets and uh, Sam's stores and that. I don't know if that's true. You're out in the parking lot doing that. But that's not I'm really not the way to actually the that, uh, to push I'm a me trucker. on Bible. You I'm a trucker be, should... from Norway House. Well, I don't need to be selling Bibles at a parking lot of a Safeway. Well, are you giving them away? I don't even have one. I don't even well, have then, a Bible. Then, okay, well, if you don't even have one, how do you know these guys are not trying to do you well? And you hear you're asking for it right away. Instead of the Bible, you want, you want something to drink. A little bit of reading might take you a long further than the bottle will. He's a drunk, Stephen. You tell Richard Jr. I'm going to feed him tube steaks smothered in underwear. <laughs> Well, I don't know about that, but you know, it, 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 you can make you can make the. Oh, effort. I know about that. Uh, no, you can. Uh, I'm three weeks now. I'm trying to find peaceful resolution to this problem. Well, hey, that's. I think this my is big it. This brother is, came uh, across the show on the internet, and I'm, he said, "Hey, Leroy, come and see this. I, they're I'm using really, your name. They're you know using what? your name, and they're imitating well, let me ask you. Something. The guy almost sounds like you. You know, and I, I listened to, and I watched, it, and he he's he's here, imitating here. me." And here's I'm something, here's you, something. I Why don't you, like, like this winter, you, you know, you're, I know you were asking for, I think you were asking for beads. Like, I was why wouldn't asking you... for beads. <laughs> oh, come on. I have beads. I, I hate, no, They're no. Called I, I, I use them on the wife, but no, I'm not about you. I was told, I was told. You guys. I was told that you were asking for beads, and I was thinking that the whole thing is that you should have the beads, you should have the neon Bible in beads on the mucklucks this year. At least set a trend and show I that the Neon Bible peace. and advertise it on the mucklucks over the winter and help promote what we're trying to do here. I don't want beads and I don't want well, to be disrespectful. you say you don't want beads, but you've been emailing and asking for beads. And, 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 and his pie-eating friend that likes getting dad's cream fresh from the source, well, that if they send hey, me beads, I will hey, promptly shove them up their ass. No, 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 no. You don't need to be talking like that. But we can supply you with a lot of Hey, you know what? We have a lot of dad's cream. We can supply you with a lot of dad's cream. Not a problem. You know, there's been dad's creams going around since 1937. <laughs> Look at that. That is a lot of dad's cream. Look, there's lots of it going around. All right, so anyways, Leroy. Are you going to buy, ever buy a Bible, or are we going to have to keep on sending the, you know, like, you should at least pay for shipping. I guess Leroy decided he does, he's, uh, doesn't want to admit to the beads. Hello. Hello. How are you? Hello. Hello. Yo. Is this working? Yeah, you're working. Can you hear me? Yep. Hey, dude. Is this working? All right, let's just move on. Uh, somebody's got stage fright, or I'm not sure. Hey, hi there. Hello, is this, is this Richard? Richard? Is this Pastor Richard? <laughs> All right. Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. I hear you quite fine. Okay. I'm calling. I heard Stephen's story about how he was a trucker before, right? And how he was lured into hauling the rig that he wasn't aware of what was in. That's it. correct. I, I myself have been lured into many situations like that, and it's very hard to deal with and very hard to talk about. But like just here two weeks ago, I was lured by a very close friend in, into a very deep dark part of the town and he actually beat me down and stole everything I had on me and I, I mean it's hard to forgive a friend from stealing everything you have 
like he stole uh, uh, my hat. I had a uh, blue hat on, and it was a very precious hat to me. My uh, my very good, my other good friend. Welcome back to the program. We're, we're now here for our last segment. And we're going to wind it up soon, but before we do that, we have a couple more calls to take. Go ahead, caller. You are on the air. Hi. Sorry about I got disconnected earlier. Oh. I have a quick question about Jesus. Okay. Um, is it okay if you don't believe in Jesus and still go to heaven? It, no, no, you cannot. Why not? What well, if I would give myself to Jesus? What if you will give yourself to Jesus? Yes. Oh, then everything's all good. But what would I have to do to get in? Yes. Go to church, read the Bible, be nice, to your neighbors, um, don't download torrents, um, obey the police, and um, send us a donation, and then you will go to heaven. Now, um, I have these dreams at night. Um, I kind of think it's maybe Jesus trying to talk to me. What would you think of that? Of what? Of a dream of Jesus? Yes. Um, well, it sounds like Jesus is trying to speak out to you to try and um, coax you to go to church. Hmm. But I kind of don't think it's not what, you know, he wants to persuade me. Because it kind of ends up with, you know, a big black figure. It's kind of, mm -hmm. you know, it, it scares me a little. Kind of like what you hear on Art Bell? What's that? Shadow people. Maybe, but... It's just the stuff it does to me in my dream. Does any, uh, we're going to ask the, um, the chat, do you want this call to go on? One for yes or two for no? <laughs> oh, something happened. I think he got raped. Next caller. Go ahead. Hello. Hi. Um, the chat is exploding with requests um, for you to talk about the story of Gozu Tyler. Uh, I was wondering, do you mind if I go ahead and tell that story? A story of who? Gozu Tyler. Have you ever heard of it? How long will the story take? Three seconds. Go ahead. More. Well, pretty much he rules the wilderness and you can't escape him. And his partner in crime is David Green. And yeah, they just pretty much rule the wilderness. So that's all I had to say. Bye. Okay, I think that was kind of a veiled attempt at a shout-out, which um, um, it's hard to fool us. It's Richard and I, it's hard to fool us. 
We have had a police helicopter circling this evening, um, protecting our server. And that's why you have not seen any hacking or clown faces on our website tonight. And we don't expect any. Um, so we'd like to thank um, you all. We'll take one or two more calls. Um, we've enjoyed our time here on Voggen Live tonight. And um, we're going um, to take another uh, phone call. Welcome to the, to the program. Hello. Hi. Am I speaking to Stephen? You are. Stephen, I was hoping I would get you this evening. I spoke with Richard previously. Mm -hmm. This is kind of a follow-up to a uh, treatment I've been following under his guidance. Mm -hmm. um, I called in previously. I was inquiring um, about two things that were going on in my life. Um, and the conclusion he had was to guzzle water. Yes. I'd like to, I'd like to say that guzzling water has not helped my situation any. I even uh, up my intake of UFC. Uh -huh. uh, I started watching the UFC on versus and the fight for the troops. Uh, the excuse my rough language, shittier cards. And honestly, it hasn't helped me any. Um, so I, I've, I've called for your guidance specifically, and maybe even our. Uh, Richard Senior's guidance, if he is uh, still with us this evening. He is. He's in the room. He's taking a break because um, his last segment was really draining. He really channeled the, um, the Holy Spirit, and he just needs to, okay. to ch charge back up. But I, I hear where you're coming from. I hear your, what you're saying. And my suggestion is, um, do you do, are you any, on any kind of um, weight program? Like, I mean, like uh, I physical... Have I've been lifting weight extensively. Um, I have up my bench press from uh, 85 pounds to nearly 115 over the last, I think it was probably three weeks since I spoke with Richard. Um, that's a significant gain for a uh, gentleman of my size, I would say. Mm -hmm. uh, and I've even went to the squat. But to tell you the truth, the squat maneuver is really not aiding me at all. It really isn't. It's kind of leading me in the direction that I don't want to go. Uh, my thighs are friggin' ripped, but I've got to say... <laughs> oh, Richard, that's not a time to be telling me a joke. Oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. Um, have you ever heard of a guy named uh, Tony Horton? Yeah, I hate. I discussed this with Richard last time. And and curls those are the videos I really, I, I like them at first. Their diet plan, high in protein, which I totally live by, high in protein. I preach that to everybody. But I've got to say, if the guy wasn't so freaking attractive, I'd watch his videos all the time. But I'm trying to get away from stuff like that. So I've kind of I'll tell you what I did. I'll tell okay. you what I okay. did. I, um, I put one of those videos on and I, uh, mm -hmm. on my computer, and I used... Um, are you familiar with Audio Hijack? Um, is that like RedTube? No, but it's a program that rips audio. So I ripped the audio okay. out of the video, and then I put it into an editor, and I took out wherever Tony's speaking, so it's nothing but the music, like the soundtrack to, to P90X. And what I'll do okay. is pull up to people at a red light, roll down the window, and just nod. And I kind of crank it. And there's, oh, okay. there's cuts so in the music. Getting, getting the old Z28 on the road, knock down the T-tops, and just crank out some P90X tunes, huh? <laughs> yes. It's exactly what you do. Man, I am outside right now, and my, and my eye rock is looking pretty good. I think I'm going to have to do that same thing. Uh, oh yeah, but that. How it, how it, how how will that help me in my pursuit to get away from this downward spiral towards the Freddie Mercury? Sir, you get in your vehicle and you in your three fifty four big block, and you just crank oh, out. Oh, that. buddy, it's, it's it's a big one too. It yeah. rumbles. 
I'll bet it's thirsty. Oh, oh yeah. If only you knew. I, I think you're doing these, fine, these sir. Guys, you don't sound very gay to me. me. In the back pocket, buddy. Uh, you believe me? Believe me, you. It. You don't sound gay at all. Hey, man. That's what I. That's what I, my wife tells me, and and honestly, that's what the truckers at the truck stop tell me. But I can't find myself not fantasizing about it. I mean. Is, I, mean, I haven't acted on it yet. That's why I contacted you guys, because I wanted to get you early prevention. I heard that was the best case, is just to get it early, before you act on it. Mm-hmm. And that's what I tried to do. Mm-hmm. And I, I honestly thought you guys were the best outlet for it. Now, I heard earlier in the program, there was a um, something you guys were offering that was kind of new. It was a Rich, Richard's, Richard's Package. Yes. And I'm seeing a lot of twos okay. in the chat, so we're going to have to move along. So, you know you try this, oh, what, Richard Sr. has a suggestion. You this. You oh, yeah, please, it. please. It's his guy is earlier in the program. Yeah. Very what valuable. I, I, I want to hear what he has to say about okay. this. Okay, I think what I would do is go on a heavy diet of cream of wheat. <laughs> okay. Uncle Ben's? No, nah, yeah, you could be Uncle Ben. No, but I'm talking cream of wheat. With the cream of wheat, actually start... Getting it you know, on top of that, use a heavy iron drink mix like a, a raisin or a grape kind of drink. Uh, like I say, dry heavy out heavy a iron and grape drink. Now, are we gurgling? Are we are we gurgling any of this before it goes down to try to get the nutrients in the throat quicker into the yeah. blood system, or is this completely digested? No, no. But the thing the thing is, but if you do a heavy concentration of cream of wheat. And, and some kind of like, whether it be a grape or a clear grape or, or a red grape type of grape juice. All, or, all natural, all natural. Yeah, all natural. Sweet. And then I think what it will be is <laughs> after a few days, I think you'll discover what the back door is used for. That's a, wait, wait, what? Th- right, thank this you. This is a joke call. This is a joke call. Hang no. it up. This is a joke call. No. Okay, we'd like to thank the caller. Um, get in your eye rock, drive, drive the eye rock. And every, okay, we have another call. Go ahead. Hello. Um, hello to you, sir. Hi. Um, how are you doing tonight, Mr. Stephen Chilton? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm doing excellent. Okay, next call. Hello? Hi, go ahead. Yes, my name is uh, James. Mm hmm. What is, how are you doing tonight? I'm doing well. Yes, I um, have a question. Okay, I would just like to, I would just like to say to the chat to, uh, you can, you guys can ease up on the numbers now. Um, you're making things difficult to read now. Very wild chat. Yeah, it is. Anyway, um, I would like to talk from a personal level. My whole family is Christian. And I'm a I'm a teenager. I'm the only non Christian in the family, okay? Mm-hmm. I love bands like Slayer. Have you ever heard of them before? I've heard of that band, yes. Yes, and I, um my whole family is completely against it. I mean I'm not against God or anything, I'm not against religion, but they go to church every Sunday, I stay home. You know. I love bands like these, but does this make me like not worthy to go to like heaven or anything? Mm-hmm. Does it make me not worthy at all? Like, it's not like I don't hate religion. It's not like I don't. I just don't do anything with it. Mm-hmm. Um, I have to say that um, I have to let you go, caller. I, I'm, I'm sorry. Thank you for calling. Goodbye. Um, I have now been completely drained. Um, I have. We have done everything we can to help the internet tonight. 
and it's time to say goodbye to you all now. We appreciate you coming, and uh, we've had a good time here on Voggin Live, and we look forward to seeing you next time. So thank you very much to all our participants, and, um, and, w and we'll talk to you next time, okay? Thank you very much. And or to seeing you next time. And have a good have a good evening. Douchebag, 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 douchebag. And remember Richard's package, everybody. For three hundred and ninety nine dollars, we will send you Richard's I'm gonna ban this person. They are ruining the chat for everyone. Ban? Got it. Okay. Um thank you very much. And um We'll see you later. Hello, hello. I need real help. Can you please help me real quick before you close off and sign off your show? Is there any way that Gozu Tyler and David Green and Tweet 900, Saber XX, Gozu Tyler and Tweet 900, you know, they are very bad people. They are owning the entire... Hello? 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 Oh. Timmer! Timmer! Timmer, Timmer, Timmer! Timmer! Hello. Hi, I'm calling because RuneScape owns the world. Tweak 900, Gozu Tyler, and 